just talking about porn is kind of boring, I thought. So we need to have a porn topic which justify our conference topic, which is change. <laughs> and Fabian and I met not too long ago. Was it one, one and a half, half years one ago? One and a half years ago, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I mean, I knew of your websites before. Yes. Yes, I, I heard think, about yeah. those sites. Couldn't believe it when I saw it. <laughs> but yeah, um, I thought we really wanted to talk to you because what we were interested in is not so much the porn world. Right. Officially, we're not interested in that. Of, no one is. No one is. But we are interested in. I mean, you sold out, and I think it was not one of those Noah multiples. I think it was a much lower valuation multiple. <laughs> because you wanted to change your life and you wanted to start something new. Anyway, that's why we invited Fabian, so it's not only about no, the materials. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Fabian, tell us about yourself. Where are you from? How did you get on the internet? And we want to sure. know it all. Okay, I uh, know it all will take a bit too long, so let's try to wrap it up a bit shorter. Um, so Fabian, I uh, started online in 99, roughly, as a programmer, and uh, I, I was very interested in high-speed, high-traffic high websites, so complicated programming that was hard to find back then, unless you worked for Yahoo or someone like that, who was, back in, uh, was in the game back then already. So you were interested in large websites? Yeah, so large oh, yeah. websites. So the, so the easiest stuff you would find at that time was porn, with a lot of traffic. Uh, so I started working a lot uh, for companies in that sector and got to know a lot of people. Um, and uh, after a couple of years, I, I noticed that uh, they got in this very easily, quickly, um, with, a, with very little business background. And the business was just so simple to sell, back then especially, that it was easy for them to grow. But they, they only could grow to a certain level, and after that, they really didn't know what to do anymore because everything got too big for them. Uh, so I decided to look and see if I can buy a couple you of them. You also got easily distracted, right? Yes, I guess so, yes, yes. Okay. If they watch too much of that, it's not So not you easy. were somebody who was strong on technology, yes. got to know an industry which you had nothing to do before with. Nothing, of course. You looked at it and you said, wow, this is really inefficient, I can't do this. Exactly. Even as a programmer yes. in the business world, much better. And then exactly. you did this massive yes. roll-up of yes. buying companies left, right and center. Exactly. So, so I started buying uh, a couple of companies in Europe first. Um, but the biggest coup really I did was buying a company in Canada, uh, which was back then already one of the big players in the, in the market. Can we, can um, we name, is, is compliance here, can we name <laughs> one of those sites? Uh, yeah, well, I, I don't mind. What's it, the you biggest one me. you own which was the, the biggest one is Pornhub. Pornhub, yes. okay. Second one which is how a bit many more users, known. How many users at Pornhub? Uh, 16 million a day. 16 million daily active users. Yes, active users, yes. About 300 million. Very active. Uh, yes, very active. <laughs> about 300 million uh, per month. So, uh, so can you ones. disclose, like, once you did like uh, the corporate raider of the porn side business, and you brought it all together, and you had your huge basket? Yes. Uh, can you share some numbers? How big it was in terms of financials? Uh, yeah, uh, financials. Uh, so uh, the the reason why we, we we really got very big is because we were the first ones that managed to get money from a fund. Uh, not an investment, but actually full debt money, uh, debt. which debt, actual debt. So some we got over three hundred. Some bankers, I heard. Uh, yeah, something like that. Exactly, it's all over the press. So therefore, they do everything for money. Stuff. These bankers. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't they weren't at Goldman Sachs anymore though? But uh, about three hundred fifty million U.S. dollars. Oh, of so they debt. gave you three hundred fifty of debt. Of debt. And you could buy companies. And we could buy uh, things like uh, half of Playboy for for that and things like that. Uh, but the only reason was that we could grow these things so quickly and because they were all run so extremely inefficiently. Um, so uh, when I sold, we had roughly 65 million uh, people on our websites each day, different ones. About uh, 450 million people a month, different ones. Um, so so that's because obviously no one... By no the way, one 450 million a month, I'm not sure if I'm mixing up numbers as usual, but that sounds like half the size of Facebook some time ago, right? <laughs> yes, yes, but n no one looks at porn, which is always the interesting thing, right? All those 450 million people. Well, I have one to prepare for the interview. <laughs> okay. Please but uh, so um, uh, turnover a month was uh, roughly 40 million US. 
a month. Uh, a month. Um, yeah, I, I always think in months. I don't know why. Everyone else does in years. I've, I don't know. Uh, and uh, profit. Because you grew so that. fast. So. Yes, that's probably it. it. It's kept changing. So uh, profit a month was roughly uh, 14 million US. Um, but that was before debt payments and so on. And obviously, the problem for us always was, uh, since we are a company that's in this industry, uh, and no banks want to talk to you because somehow nobody really uses this, right? So it's bad to talk about this, bus, this, this, this stuff. It was very hard to get uh, debt or get any money from anywhere. Uh, so uh, we had to pay quite a bit of interest and so on. So what very, a story. Very risk, uh, and, then, and then you thought, well, now I have like hundreds of millions of profits. Yes. It's kind of Enough. boring. Let's do something yes. new. Exactly. So we had 1,200 employees and it wasn't fun growing the business anymore. So I decided uh, to, to What are you doing out. now? I uh, right now look for investments to see what I want to do next. Uh, I am looking at all kinds of stuff from left to right. Uh, look at fashion things, look at uh, uh, IT, high-tech business, what is the investment everything. size per deal you are interested in? Uh, anywhere re between 100,000 to a couple million. It really depends and, on and what it is. And would you like to do like a typical angel investor? Uh, I, I, prefer definitely, I prefer definitely angel things. I, I like helping uh, startups. Where, what, uh, I mean, so what are you good at? What I mean, am I good you're at? You're good at it quite a bit. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm good at finding, uh, I think, in my opinion, I'm good at finding the small tweaks and mistakes that they make and uh, like just on the monetization, show them on the monetization, monetization but also uh, which areas they, they just totally forget or, or just don't yeah. think of. So. Maybe for people like me who are really new to this field, how did you make money in, in, in the industry? Yes, that's always what people ask because obviously no one makes money in this industry. No, but the, uh, the, the, the great thing we had was that we had both free and pay sites. So we had free, completely free sites like Pornhub and YouPorn and, and so on. Uh, but we also own the big, big, big brands that are for pay. Uh, and we could, uh, in a matter of uh, half a day, because of the much traffic we had, we could test new, new, new ideas or new content types to see what, what customers wanted to see. So you're a little bit like Jörg Mohaupt, you own owns a music label and also the exactly. distribution That's it. all yeah. left, right and so center. So that, that was the simple part and that was really the thing that, that made it work. I think that that's was the key point. What kind of areas you would like to invest in? You said something like e-commerce or advertising? Uh, or so I, 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 I do invest in high tech, uh, no, no doubt, um, because that's my really base background in the end. Uh, but I, I invest also in, uh, in fashion, e-commerce, for example, just as long, as long as it's interesting, as long as it's a bit different. Uh, but I do not right now invest in anything uh, porn. I'm not interested at all anymore. Yeah, I've kind of done this. It's exactly, porn. done that. It's uh, silly, so yeah. Fabian, I think it's an amazing story, uh, and what, what I, I mean, there cannot be one individual at this conference who personally, <laughs> you know, changed their, their past so yes. much and uh, said, okay, I've done this and up for a new challenge. Yeah. Congratulations for that, and Thank you. we will send you deals we see, and perfect. I mean, I want to have Fabian, if I would have a startup as an investor, <laughs> no matter what, because it's just so cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.